What's up guys? Welcome to the first drama of 2021. The holiday season and New Year's Eve probably looked a little bit different for you guys that actually stayed home and just watched Netflix because most of the bars and clubs were on strict lockdown because of the pandemic. LA, where most of our favorite influencers live, recently went into a strict lockdown too, which means everyone was probably forced to stay home, right? Unfortunately, it looks like the trend of rules not applying to our favorite influencers is continuing into 2021. Exposed. 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 You're exposed. Right before Christmas, James Charles posted a TikTok video with all of his popular TikTok friends like Charlie Dixie and their boyfriends. In this video, they were doing the Mean Girls Jingle Bell Rock dance, and although the video would have been cute any other year, this year when we're living through a pandemic, it just didn't sit right with people. America is such a mess right now because of COVID, and it literally says on the COVID guidelines website for California not to gather and mix with other households this holiday season. There's like at least four different households in this video. I guess it's kind of just frustrating for people to see since most of us had to stay home and we all missed out on our favorite holiday celebrations this year. People in the comments of James' video were really upset with him and he ended up disabling his comments on that video after receiving a ton of backlash. It gets worse though. Charlie Dixie, Noah Beck, Chase Hudson, and a few other TikTokers decided to go on a year-end trip to the Bahamas. Charlie and Dixie haven't been documenting their trip online, probably to avoid backlash, but their friends have been posting and you can clearly see Charlie and Dixie are with them all. All of these influencers live in LA and they're in a strict lockdown right now, which makes this trip feel 10 times worse. It's like they knew that they couldn't do much in LA, so they decided to jump on a plane to another country instead. Funny enough, Charlie and her sister have been huge advocates online about staying home and not going out with friends during the pandemic. Please stop being so inconsiderate to others because you may think like, oh, this isn't going to affect me. Like there's no, like this isn't, it's not that bad, like, whatever you're thinking, like, oh, you're a teenager, you're a man. Like, you are putting other people at risk to get, get hurt and to be, like, in pain. Yeah, kind of hypocritical seeing that now. They've also been doing collabs with other influencers all throughout the year, too. So, I mean, why pretend you care if you really don't? I know they say it's their job and they have to collab, but come on, you have the ability to make millions from the comfort of your own home, a luxury that not many people have, and yet you somehow have to be collabing with people. I guarantee you, your fans would love you so much more if you set a good example and just stayed home. Charlie and her sister have both been ignoring this whole situation. Every single tweet they post, like 99% of the comments are people calling them out for being in the Bahamas. Here's what some people had to say. You're literally so immature and selfish. Being in the Bahamas when people are dying every second, people are dying, Charlie, and you're sitting on the beach with your immature friend group? There's people dying alone in hospital beds, but influencers like Charlie D'Amelio are going for holidays in the Bahamas because they feel like it? Why would anyone make these people famous? A lot of people were speculating that James Charles actually went on the trip too. There were tons of tweets circulating calling James out for being in the Bahamas with Charlie and Dixie. Although James decided to jump on Instagram and clear that up for people. He said, Waking up this morning in Los Angeles. Just thought I'd let y'all know since some people seem to think I'm elsewhere. Moving on, let's talk about Tana Mojo. Tana posted a video on Instagram with Jake Paul and tagged the location as We Moved. Jake later posted a video saying that he was moving out and selling the Team 10 house in LA to focus on his training, although he never did say where he was moving to. It's the end of an era, a start of a new one. The problem child era. Guys, I didn't want to make this video. I don't really know what I'm going to say in this video. And this isn't an easy video for me to make because the decision to move outside of California for me was a very tough decision. The main reason for this is 
I'm stepping into a new chapter of my life where I am a legitimate pro fighter. And being in Los Angeles, there's so many distractions, there's so much going on, and it doesn't really allow me to focus on training. As you guys know, for all of my training camps, I've went to Big Bear, I've went to Las Vegas, because those places are a better environment to become the best athlete that I could possibly be. And Los Angeles, as you guys know, has all the partying, all the madness here, like so many distractions, and it's too much to be around. Later on, Tana posted an Instagram story where she says that Jake sold his house in Calabasas and bought them a house in Miami. Worried that he sold the house in Calabasas, but look at this one, he just got us in Miami! You see, it's fine! So it looks like Tana is just in Miami to help Jake move and get settled into his new house, so no big deal, right? Wrong. It looks like Tana actually flew down there with other intentions because she's been caught on Instagram stories partying with a bunch of influencers in Miami. Deaf Noodles tweeted, COVID party alert. Jake Paul, Tana Mojo, and several other influencers partying in Miami where COVID restrictions are looser. Basically, everyone who is with them flew in from different parts of the country like Ohio, Colorado, and California. No one quarantined. Yeah, Tana was literally just in Colorado with a whole bunch of other people and never quarantined between her trip to Colorado and her trip to Miami. In fact, I think she literally left for Miami the next day. While in Miami, Tana went to yet another party. She didn't document the party on her own Instagram, but her friend sure did and people were really mad. Then New Year's Eve rolled around and Tana documented her New Year's party all night long on Instagram. She shared photos and videos of her on a boat, not wearing a mask, and getting extremely close to people. She also posted, Ending 2020 with the same circle I started with. It's just a little smaller. The ironic thing about this whole situation is back in the summer when Tana was caught partying with Erica Costell, she actually issued this huge apology on her Instagram saying that she would never party again during the pandemic. She wrote, Partying slash going to any social gathering during a global pandemic was such a careless and irresponsible action on my behalf. I fully hold myself accountable for this, plus we'll be staying inside. Actions like that don't deserve a platform and I want to fully apologize and be better than this. I'm sorry. My question is, why bother even putting out a long apology about accountability when you know you're going to stay home for maybe a week then continue with your party lifestyle for the rest of the year? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Nikita is another influencer that decided to go out for New Year's Eve in Miami. She tweeted, My New Year's dress took 35 minutes to put on and I literally had to call the hotel staff to help me. 2021 is off to an amazing start. She later deleted that tweet when she was getting called out for partying during a pandemic. Nikita didn't post any footage from the party that she went to, but the next morning she did post pictures and videos of her dress on Instagram. You would think some of these influencers would put their messy past behind them and actually go into the new year with even an ounce of responsibility, but nope. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.